Good morning. What a lovely day. How are you doing? Ah,、uh, I hope you are doing very well. Okay. In this lecture, I would like to talk to you about why I would like to design this course for you. Ah,、uh, okay. So you are a beginner, right? You want to learn how computers work, right? And a little bit computer science stuff. Science about the computers. Okay. So what is computer? Now I'm recording. I use a computer software. I use a laptop. I use a microphone. I use a webcam. All those things is a, a fundamental computer equipment. Input output. But most importantly, computer has a. a A processor we call a normally call it a CPU, and under it,、uh, in it we run the program. Okay, but it seems a mystery、uh, for the beginner how computer actually works. Okay, this course provide a, a perspective、uh, from the programming angle. Okay, as a programmer, we write the software. Okay, we learn the data structure, we learn algorithm, we learn the different kinds of the programming languages, syntax, the semantics, and we solve the problem. Okay, but the world is quite complex because nowadays we have a networking, internet, a different kind of web applications.、Uh, we have a different terminology for the web, for the network devices. So how do you deal with the complexity of the world as a learner? Okay, <laughs> quite difficult, right? And if you look in,、um, you're looking into the online information, tons of the、uh, online tutorial, YouTube's、uh, record some pretty good, some、mm, that's, that's kind of okay. So you kind of confused how you get start your own journey, right? Okay, this class is specially designed for student who uh, want to uh, embark on this journey. Okay, from the programming point of view. Okay, I kind of、uh, divide my course into、uh, six big module.、Uh, each of each of them may have uh, uh, sub. Topics, okay. So first, that、uh, we talk about how computers work, okay. The hardware, software, number system, and、uh, the internal data representations, and things like that. Operating system. What's the role of the operating system, okay? And then we also talk about uh, uh, the networking. Okay, because networking is a big thing. Almost now in this world, our computer is not isolated. Your cell phone, your smartphone, without any connection, it's it's impractical, right? We have living in the interconnected world. Okay, so we are going to talk about the networking, especially. Uh, LAN, WAN, Internet, some terminology, the protocol, TCP/IP, domain name system, and then we will quickly、uh, talking about move move to the web programming, okay? Because we focus on the programming, right? And in terms of the programming,、uh, we'll be talking about uh, the uh, JavaScript later on. But before we talk about the programming, we、uh, how many programming language in the world?、Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but they have some. There's some programming language uh, uh, they suited more、uh, for the web developing, some for the data science, some for artists, some for、um, working with the hardware. Okay. So probably you heard of people, the computer science、uh, student learning、uh, programming like the C, C plus plus, C sharp, okay, some learn Java, okay, 
But in this class,、uh, we focus on the higher level,、uh, easy to use, so that you won't,、uh, you can learn step by step. Okay, I choose the three programming language. The one、uh, is called the、uh, Sony Pi.、Uh, actually, it's not a programming language. The programming environment,、uh, which is based on actually a language called Ruby. Okay, on it,、uh, you can experience some very very high level in Ruby instruction, and then study to、uh, make sound. Okay, as a Programmer, okay, and also a musician, okay. I think it's quite cool. I have a whole whole class talking about it, but in here we talk a little bit, okay. And and we'll be talking about JavaScript. Oh, this one is a big things because、uh, JavaScript is very very popular nowadays, okay. And the good thing is that you can run JavaScript、uh, inside the web browser. Okay, and of course we can do a lot of things, but we focus on、uh, a particular library set called P Five JS because、uh, which enable us to explore some visuals. Okay, so we can create some interesting a、uh, small project. Okay. A lot of people use that to、uh, to create some artwork. And finally, okay,、uh, we need to talk about Python. Okay, Python is a super super popular programming language for the data science. Okay, and three of these programming language they are all interpreter. Okay, so what's an interpreter? Uh, sounds like a per、um, a person who can speak、uh, two language. They translate、uh, from one to another simultaneously. That's the normal、uh, definition of an interpreter, right? Yes, it is about the computer science. The interpreter have a special meaning、uh, as a, as opposed to another kind of translator we call a compiler. So we'll be talking about、uh, programming environment、uh, like an editor, IDE, or web environment, as well as uh, uh, some language is interpreter, but some language need a compiler, a legacy programming language, to translate the code into machine code, so that your CPU, your operating system can load it and then run it in the environment. Also, some flow, okay,、uh, in、uh, developing the programming process, okay. Basically, we type the coding, right? We type, we write the article, we kind of、uh, edit,、uh, we we、um, we kind of、uh, write the way we think. Okay, so what I'm thinking maybe some kind of special way to print out the information. Maybe、uh, can I catch that event? Okay, interactions. Okay, and then we run our program. Okay, and sometimes the program won't won't、uh, ask you as way we expected. So we generate some problems or bugs. So we do the debug. Okay, so the debugging. Debug is a big things in the learning process. It's a, it's inevitable, inevitable for the beginner, even the experienced student, experienced engineer. We make mistake all the time, <laughs> and yeah, it's a process. So we need to experience it and learn from this experience. Okay. And of course,、uh, any programming language have its own syntax,、uh, the grammar,、uh, the grammar of the language, and we need to learn、uh, about it. Okay, this time online resource is very useful because、uh, you don't need to、uh, buy books. Okay, and actually.、Uh, Language programming keep evolving. Okay, you learn. You need to develop the ability to consult the API or syntax、uh, when you need it. 
a very critical way when we learn computer coding is actually we are training our brain to solve the problem okay but some people solve the problem uh, in a very straightforward way not necessarily effective or efficiently so here comes uh, uh, the algorithm and the data structure uh, they usually put it together uh, actually it's a two courses uh, fundamental courses in our computer science field okay algorithm means how you how you solve the problem uh, in a certain way okay uh, the way may determine your efficiency okay and data structure is how you organize the data okay why they have uh, related to each other. Sometimes uh, the way you organize the data, you store the data, will affect the way you you process it. Okay. So I think that uh, I have done <laughs> the very very uh, basic introduction uh, talking about this course. Okay. So we'll see you then in uh, each chapter or each module. Okay. Bye bye.